This is an overview of the standard operating procedure template in Coda. The first thing you want to do is click on this copy this template button and you'll make a copy of this Coda doc for your workspace. After that, you can actually delete all of this text right here. This is just kind of help text for the template. The main part of the template is down here. Fill in the procedure name, the author, approvers, SOP, they created. You can fill in all these fields. And this approver button is actually something that anyone on the team can click to show that they've approved this SOP. And below this kind of summary data, you can fill in the purpose, the context, and then the main part of the template is the step-by-step -step process or procedure table. To get started with this table, you can click on clear data. That will clear all the dummy data. And you can start adding in your own procedures, the owners, the team responsible. And what you'll have is a full list of, of procedures or steps for this SOP. The interesting thing about this template that's different from others is that you can click on this Slack help button. If your team is using Slack, you can click on this button and integrate with Slack and this will send a message to the owner in Slack asking them about this procedure. You can also click on this notes icon which will bring up this uh, canvas and you can leave more detailed notes about that specific step in the SOP and then there's additional links you can add for in this column for other docs or presentations or designs. After you've created this list of procedures and steps, you can filter this data in different ways. So if I click on design steps, you notice I only see a list of design steps filtered to design the design team. If I click on the filter here, you'll see that the team responsible contains design. Same thing applies for engineering steps and QA steps. Finally, if you want to customize this doc even more, you can invite your team members to this doc and you can put them in this staff table and the team they're on. And you can customize the teams here that shows up in this column as well as in this team responsible column. And so everything is in one place. So the main benefits of this template is that you can create a main table of SOP steps, filter them in different ways, you can click on this Slack button to send messages to these different people. And the write-up and this structure table is all in one place in this Coda doc.